He was the heartthrob of a generation, a man of undeniable charisma. But behind the dreamy eyes and charming smile, Richard Chamberlain harbored a secret, a truth so shocking it would change the course of his career forever. Join us as we uncover the truth about Richard Chamberlain's life. You won't believe what you're about to hear. Hollywood legend Richard Chamberlain wasn't just a heartthrob. He was a versatile actor who reigned supreme in the world of miniseries. But behind the charm and success lay a hidden truth that would shape his career career, early life, Beverly Hills, and artistic dreams. Born in 1934, Richard Chamberlain grew up in the heart of Hollywood glamour, Beverly Hills. While his father provided a comfortable life, it was his mother, a talented actress and singer, who instilled in him a love for the arts. Surrounded by creativity and the glitz of the era, young Richard dreamt of a life on stage. Richard Chamberlain, a career defined by versatility. Richard Chamberlain's career was a masterclass in artistic exploration. It traversed television, theater, and music, showcasing his talents in a multitude of ways. Early beginnings and Dr. Kildare. Chamberlain's journey began with the co-founding of the Company of Angels, a Los Angeles theater group. This nurturing environment fostered his artistic growth. In the early 1960s, he rose to national stardom as Dr. James Kildare in the eponymous TV series. His charm and good looks captivated audiences, but Chamberlain wasn't content with just acting. He leveraged his singing talent, scoring his singles like the show's theme song, Three Stars Will Shine Tonight, which reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Beyond Dr. Kildare, theater and music. After Dr. Kildare ended in 1966, Chamberlain continued to diversify his career. He honed his craft on the theater circuit, showcasing his versatility. In 1966, he landed a role opposite Mary Tyler Moore in the Broadway musical Breakfast at Tiffany's. However, despite the initial hype, the show closed quickly. Years later, with renewed confidence, he returned to Broadway. He graced audiences with his nuanced performances and powerful voice in revivals of classics like My Fair Lady and The Sound of Music. Artistic exploration in England. In the late 1960s, Chamberlain ventured to England. This journey proved pivotal, allowing him to shed the Dr. Kildare image and establish himself as a serious actor. He tackled challenging roles, including one in the BBC's adaptation of Henry James's Portrait of a Lady, demonstrating his remarkable range. He further solidified his status by starring alongside Catherine Hepburn in The Mad Woman of Sheyo. Vocal refinement and Shakespearean triumph, Chamberlain didn't stop there. He received vocal coaching in England, adding another dimension to his artistry. His biggest breakthrough however, came with his portrayal of Hamlet, the iconic Shakespearean character. This performance solidified his reputation as a truly magnificent actor, building a legacy on stage and screen. Richard Chamberlain's theatrical achievements began with a bang. He made history at the Birmingham Repertory Theater in 1969, becoming the first American actor to tackle Hamlet since John Barrymore in 1925. His sensational performance garnered glowing reviews and established him as a serious contender in the world of theater. He later reprised the role for television's Hallmark Hall of Fame in 1970, solidifying his status as a master performer. A recording of this performance even received a Grammy nomination. The 1970s proved to be a prolific decade for Chamberlain. He showcased his versatility across various genres on the big screen. In 1970, he captivated audiences as Tchaikovsky in The Music Lovers, breathing life into the complex composer. The following year, he embodied the enigmatic Lord Byron in Lady Caroline Lamb, a historical drama exploring a passionate and scandalous romance. Chamberlain's talent wasn't limited to drama. In 1973, he joined the star-studded cast of The Three Musketeers, showcasing his acting prowess and action skills as Aramis. That same year, he displayed his comedic timing in the television production The Ladies Not for Burning. Chamberlain defied expectations again in 1974, playing a villainous engineer in the disaster film The Towering Inferno. He proved his ability to portray characters beyond the traditional hero. The following year, he returned to his musical roots in The Slipper and the Rose, a charming adaptation of Cinderella. His captivating performance solidified his international appeal. Chamberlain continued to impress throughout the decade. His portrayal of the man in the Iron Mask, 1977, further highlighted his talent for depth and complexity. He then took on a psychological thriller role in Peter Weir's The Last Wave, 1977. 
captivating audiences and solidifying his reputation as a formidable actor. These successes would pave the way for his later reign as the king of the miniseries. Richard Chamberlain carved a niche in television with a string of captivating miniseries performances. In 1978, he captivated audiences in the epic saga, Centennial. This multi-generational story showcased his talent and propelled him to even greater fame. Chamberlain continued his reign in 1980 with Shogun, a historical drama based on James Clavell's novel. His portrayal of the lead character left a lasting impression. The Thornbirds in 1983 further cemented his miniseries status. This romantic drama, co-starring Rachel Ward and Barbara Stanwyck, displayed his versatility as Father Ralph de Bricassar. The complex characters and captivating storyline enthralled audiences. Not confined to television, Chamberlain successfully transitioned to the big screen in the 1980s with the adventure film King Solomon's Mines. He continued to mesmerize audiences with his charm. In a groundbreaking move, he took on the iconic role of Jason Bourne, originally David Webb, in the 1988 TV adaptation of The Bourne Identity. Throughout his career, Chamberlain's ability to breathe life into characters and immerse viewers in compelling stories solidified his place as a beloved figure in entertainment. Richard Chamberlain, a career that endures. Richard Chamberlain's career has flourished well beyond the 1990s. He showcased his versatility with captivating guest appearances on popular shows like The Drew Carey Show and Will and & Grace, seamlessly adapting to different comedic styles. In 1991, Chamberlain took on a challenging dramatic role in the television movie adaptation of The Night of the Hunter. While reviews were mixed, his performance solidified his dedication to diverse characters. Chamberlain's theatrical talents shown in 1993 when he starred as Henry Higgins in a Broadway revival of My Fair Lady. His portrayal of this complex character earned critical acclaim and delighted audiences. Further solidifying his theatrical presence, Chamberlain played the iconic Ebenezer Scrooge in the 2005 Broadway national tour of Scrooge the Musical. He brought depth and humanity to this timeless character, enchanting audiences. Chamberlain continued exploring new avenues with guest appearances in British and American dramas. In 2006, he graced the screen in the acclaimed British series Hustle and later appeared on Desperate Housewives. His musical side flourished in the national tour of Monty Python's Spamalot 2008-2009, where he brought King Arthur to life with captivating performances. This showcased his singing, acting, and comedic timing. The following decades saw Chamberlain on popular television shows like Leverage and Chuck, where he played both nuanced and villainous roles. He also brought depth and charisma to brothers and sisters captivating viewers with his presence. Throughout his career, Richard Chamberlain has consistently demonstrated his versatility and dedication to his craft, captivating audiences on stage and screen, early success, and desire for more. Richard Chamberlain rose to fame in the 1960s as Dr. Kildare on television. Despite his heartthrob status, Chamberlain yearned for serious acting roles. He left his television career to perform on stage, showcasing his talent in plays like Hamlet and West Side Story. Diverse roles and enduring talent. Chamberlain continued to act throughout his career, taking on challenging roles in miniseries like Shogun and The Thornbirds. He even appeared in the cult classic series Twin Peaks The Return later in his career. A private life becomes public. For most of his career, Chamberlain kept his homosexuality private. However, a French magazine revealed his secret in 1989. He eventually came out publicly in his 2003 autobiography, Shattered Love, a memoir. Love and partnership. Chamberlain's longtime partner was Martin Rabbit. Together, they found strength and support in each other. They even worked on projects together, including the film Alan Quatermain and The Lost City of Gold. Their relationship ended amicably in 2010, finding peace in Hawaii. Chamberlain currently resides in Hawaii, enjoying the beauty and tranquility of his island home. Recent health concerns. News of Chamberlain's recent hospitalization due to a heart attack and brain injury has worried his fans. He is currently receiving medical care, a legacy of talent and courage. Richard Chamberlain's career is a testament to his talent and versatility. He has also inspired others with his courage to come out as gay. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload.